let's go to the next game. Giants and Cardinals. Giants. Now, I, I will pick the Giants, but I want to give Jonathan Gannon props in the sense that he had his guys ready to play. Mm-hmm. He uh, All offseason, we hear but we people been laughing and making uh, Cardinals button, and especially Jonathan Gannon, the button of the jokes about you remember that video with the speech or whatever and people like what is he talking about Mm -hmm. but then he had his dudes ready to play they was competing they was in it to the end with josh dobbs at qb and obviously if kyler played they might have won by multiple scores Mm -hmm. so you know i gotta give respect to those guys over there in arizona but in that but the giants really need a bounce back win after getting shut out 40-0 by my Cowboys. You know you know how we roll. I told, I'm going to get to that later. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to Giants here, and I'll take the points as well. Because yeah. I don't think the Giants are a bad team. It's funny how when the Cowboys start whooping up on people, now all of a sudden they're a bad team. But that's whatever. I don't think the Giants are a bad team. They still have a good D-line. The defense isn't terrible. And the offense just, it just wasn't that night. They went against – the scale was too tipped in favor of the Cowboys talent-wise for them to really put up a fight. But but it's much more even now. Okay. Well, Giants even actually had the advantage, in my opinion. Darren Waller, I think he's questionable. Mm-hmm. I, but I don't, I don't think, think they need good. Darren Waller to beat the Cardinals. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I'm, I think um, just like with my Bears point, I think these are grown men. Got their ass kicked 40 to 0. Oh, yeah. Didn't score not one point, not one field goal. They're going to be motivated. Yeah. They're going to be. They, they have to be. Take the points. Take yeah. the Giants' points. Just go ahead. They're going to be <laughs> motivated. They're going to be ready to um to get, just take out all their frustration on the Cardinals that are one of the worst teams in the league. But yeah, I agree with you on Jonathan Gannon. What this reminds me of is when Brian Flores first took over the Miami Dolphins. Not the first few bats again because they were absolutely trash. But when closing the season, the Dolphins, they sort of started playing a lot better. The teams, I remember they played the Patriots and they did a number on the Patriots. Like this is kind of what it reminds me of where it's like they don't have the talent, but with good coaching, you can you can have players sort of over exceed, you know, their potential right. in a way. So I think with Jonathan Gannon, that first game, the first game, they impressed me. Yep. So 